Ah, uh, salut everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. Let's get back into the action now. Oh, that. Okay, so we're back, and I basically went like two months in the head because I wanted to get to the auto save, so I didn't have to like save myself. And basically nothing else has really happened. Um, we're fighting America in this region over here. It's becoming really difficult. Um, who knows? I think I think we lost this region last episode, so that's not really new. Really um, we're still fighting the uh, Austrians as hard as we can here, and we're about to deploy some troops over here to go deal with to go deal with the uh, horrendous people, because. Um, what I kind of realized off screen is we really need to get out of this war. Because it's actually hurting our colonization process. Because if we had... If we had a little bit more colonization, we could start fighting the, uh... These guys a little bit more. And right now, this is actually costing us, because... Yeah. Just, like, I was realizing that, and I just realized because... We need to, we just don't, we're like declining so quickly in colonial powers that it's causing us to rift. Um, also, uh, Prushka, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned this episode, collapsed and now it's like a new bourgeois dictatorship. And with that opportunity, all of its vassals were released, or all of its spears were released. So what I did was, I took, I'm planning on taking this little nation right here of Nassau, which means since it's both a German state and a, uh, a North Federation state, I don't think it'll be able to form a... I don't think the Germans will be able to form a North Germanic Federation. And so then we could just, like, take them over. Um, I'm also re try, trying to re-sphere Belgium. So, yeah, those. that's basically it. Um, right now, of course, it's saying we're losing. Um, that's because we are way too... We are way too spread. But I'm not losing in Africa. That's the one... This is the one province I cannot lose in, and as you can see, we're actually losing a lot of, uh, what is it called? We're losing a lot of ground to the, uh, to the Austrians and the uh, Americans because we can't keep up anymore. We've expanded our realm past the brink of expansion, I guess. For some reason, like, just for some reason, our colonial power can't keep up anymore. So, I'm having to, like, figure out what good technologies would be good to, like, invest in. And I'm actually going to invest in this because we, because that's a great technology to invest in. It will help everything. Okay, and you guys get on the boats. And, yeah, that's basically all that's been happening. We also have a declining economy, like usual, and... We're most likely going to debt. You know, nothing new in the average day of the French Empire. Ambassadors insulted. So gain a humiliating cause of belly. Um, no. I can't take the prestige hit right now. And apparently we are number one in militaristic power, which, you know, <laughs> give us a hand. I never expected that. And the taunts. Crisis in motion. Really? Oh, no, that was the old previous one. All right. And let's re- we're about to re-sphere Belgium, and apparently we also have a little bit of problems with the Pel, Pel states. I think that's because um, we're having to fight a couple. Okay, you guys get out of here, get on to here. We're going to try to conquer these guys a little bit quicker. And over here, as you can see, yeah, you see, this is the reason why I'm having a little, good, little, dip, bleh, little bit of difficulty. is because... I can't keep up as I used to, and so what I'm gonna have to do is, see the what I'm gonna have to release a nation to like give myself colonial points so that I can go just start annihilating the Americans and the Fu Austrians, which I think is kind of stupid. Like this new colonial system doesn't make any sense. I'm still mad. I'm still mad to this point that they let Portugal gain that that little part of like iron and stuff, and then become a great nation. I mean that was just unfair. I mean, anyone who says otherwise really doesn't know anything, because that was just an unfair tactic. And, I don't know, like, I like the colonial system, and in fact, it's, like, really competitive, but the fact that the, uh, what was it called? The, uh, okay, do you guys want to propose peace? They would not accept this offer. Okay. They would accept that offer. Okay. How about you guys? They would demand 
How about that? No. You guys are completely in this war all because you guys want to be with your friends. Good job. You guys are good friends. Okay, but yeah, we're gonna... So what I'm gonna have to do is try to... Oh, dang. Okay. Apparently, we just lost in this region, and... Yes! Okay, create a protectorate. Uh, completely block them off. Okay. So now, yes! America apparently won this region. So what I did was I quickly just said, okay, poo it. And we won that region back. And I don't think I'm actually gonna win in that region either. Because... It's too much colonial power. It's too much colonial investment. So, reduction of prestige causes belly against them. Yay! Um, oh man, this is really becoming tense with me and... Me and, uh, Austria here. Which, I don't know why the Austrians are even trying to call... Okay, finally. Annex, yes! Okay, so now let's quickly do this. Uh, what is it called? Release nations. Brunei, we're not gonna release Brunei. Brunei is mine. <laughs> I set up my own little plans for them, and they're going to be invaded. Alright, so, we need the southern Af Madagascar kingdom to be released, and we need Madagascar to be released. I hate to release nations, but that's the only way we're going to keep our colonial prestige. Alright, so Madagascar has officially regained its freedom, but it's kind of a puppet state of ours, so I guess it's kind of cool. And with that colonial... Really? We didn't get anything out of that? Ah. Uh. You know, I feel like withdrawing from here, but, uh, with, no, I'm going to fight him to the very end. And so, we finally finished up our war with Oman, crisis averted, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And now we have a good French Oman Africa. And we actually, ironically, will have to go back to war immediately because of the... Amino Dubai because we're gonna have to conquer Amino Dubai for oil and we're gonna have to do the we have to slowly but surely evacuate our troops from um <laughs> horrendous but oh my goodness that war established protector against Bali protected okay we got a new thing in Volta there's only one oh shoot okay so how much does a oh shoot America has a lot of colonial prestige okay but we could create a colony of Volta. I don't know where Volta is, actually. Where the heck is Volta? We can create a colony in Volta. Uh, searching time. No, here we go. Volta. So where's Volta? Voltos. Volta. Volta. Okay, and there's our prestige national ranking. That's pretty good. Oh, great. Okay. You need 20. No, I'm not going to free my colonial points just for that. Okay, and apparently we just lost in this region. So what I'm instantly going to do is I'm going to fight them in this region. Okay. And as you can see, the scramble for Africa is still very much an intense race. Like, I thought I had it locked up. I stupidly thought I had it locked up. And we're still trying to fight the Austrians to the bitter end. And who has won? Dang, America and them are just going at it completely. Um, carry a big stick. Huh. And Volta. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not creating a colony, it's because I realized while I was looking at this, colonies actually power up my tire maintenance. So it's actually bad to get colonies out this soon. And fighting for the people, epidemic, yada yada yada. Okay, let's retax our people. Because apparently I'm losing money. I don't like that. There we go. Back to taxing the poor. And since we have a lot of new poor people, Due to us conquering Africa. It's all good. And Nasu. Nasu. Right here. He's now in our friendly sphere. And I almost got him in. To where now we will officially block the Pushkins. I mean. The Pushkins are starting to come back. Kind of. I mean. They're looking better. But. I don't want to sphere them in my nation. Because then. they I feel like they would just instantly pop back into great powerness. And Protectorate, uh, Luxembourg, uh, can we Sphere Luxembourg now? Yes, we get Sphere Luxembourg, that means we get a tiny little, like, bonus to our thing. And they're now a socialist country, that's very interesting. <laughs> and right over here, get right here, fight him right there, and right over here. Man, this is, like, so bad. I mean... 
It's not like the end of the... I mean, it wouldn't be like the end of the world that they would take all this, but... I mean, it's so sad that I could not protect my land because of, like, the tie-ins of power. And you guys, just close. Okay, let me just see. Just close. Uh, nothing should open in Ghana. I keep telling you guys this, and you guys keep trying to make a factory there. It's not going to work. It's going to collapse. Because it has no people there. It's not going to produce anything. Uh, and right now we're taxing. Kaboom. Uh, national literature. The Letoms! Rise of Japan. Oh, it seems like Japan finally became a great power. And Belgium, I think, is finally within our sphere again. No, wait. Almost there. We're almost there. Okay, and Volta can still be made a colony. And now we got 107, so now it's time to use those colonial points to uh, invest in our two fighting colonies right now. And we're going to have to wait right there. And right here. We can actually add in our little colonial investment. And for this, is there anywhere we can fight? Hmm. I'm tempted to see if I can actually fight him on two fronts. Probably not. <laughs> I need a good, just honest front. Um, let's go right here. Because that, this should be easy to, like, take over since I already have, like, this part locked up. And, yeah. Now, this is like the relaxing period of the colonial times. It's just me, uh, we're about to lose Timbuktu? What? Nah. What? We're not about to lose it. We're about to gain it. Yeah? Okay, and anything else I could use to, like, help? Mm. I'm investing heavily in, the mil in this. Ooh, it's tempting. Man. Factory level right there. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep like a constant 87 in my uh, in my colonial arsenal. You know that way. Uh, yeah, we could try to go settle the Congo. We could go right here. I mean, what's right here? Oh, actually, let's settle this region right here, because this would actually help us, because it has some iron in it, and in French, Ryland. Which, remember if you guys, that's French Island, the place where we conquered and took over from the Pushkins. And has finally just collapsed one of its factories. It feels so Oh, shoot. And this is the point where you guys have been yelling at me saying, James, you, you forgot about your causes belly. And granted, I did. But actually, dang. What? When did? How? Huh? How did I lose? Oh my goodness, time to go conquer everything. <laughs> Instantly when that happens, I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm just like, oh my goodness. But no, no, seriously guys, look at that. I have this like new ultimate respect. And there's actually a couple things we could do. Um, first things first is that we could kick the Austrians out. Hmm. All right. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I bet this is a good way to end the episode. See you guys next time. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness. And last episode, for some reason, we have now 8.8, 8.24 Infamy. I don't know where that came from, I don't know why we have it, but it's like the joy, it's like that little joyous thing that we needed. Because you know what I could do? With that, I could go in and basically start to claim war on a lot of animations and start like spearing them. So what I could do right now is, let's see... Well, obviously, the most valuable would be Korea. And since Korea has no allies, this is actually a good time. Establish a protectorate over Korea. Mm hmm Okay. And, yeah. So, we have that. We have just, like, no infamy going on. So, even if we get all 10 infamy, which we did. Uh, you know, sometimes I wish. Sometimes I just wish they would not do that. But, anyways... Even if we did get all 10 infamy, we'd still have enough to, like, relax, just chill out, and... Oh my goodness, so... Alright, next thing we have to do is, we have to prepare we have to prepare a shipment of steamers to be in this region. So I'm gonna go send them to here. A good army of steamers. And go transport that army back to, uh, capital. For Kappa. For capital. And mission to Korea is kind of being dec decreased at almost every turn, but... Ah, uh, you know what? If I conquer Korea, I think that's just gonna make up for all the, like, the weird things that have happened to me in Africa. 
I mean, I mean, at that point, I can accept losing some of these places. But I think the best way, like just out of my observation, I think the best way to lose these places is to, oh, 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 guys, guys, I want you guys to hear this. We can build the Suez Canal and then the Panama Canal. Yes! So now we finally have control of the two of the greatest strategic areas in this game. And it's speaking of which, uh, where's my ships before they get all the way across Africa? Uh, shoot. Um, actually, you guys just start heading back and go this way. Okay. It would be way quicker if you guys just go that way. Okay, but now we have built what we want to build from the very beginning. I mean, my plans are a little bit scared, but you know what? Again, if I conquer Korea, I think that will make up for a lot of these, like, messed up plans. So, anyways, what does Lit Toms have to tell us about today? The Kingdom of Montague fears our might. The Kuan Bruskin relations. Falcons quiet. Serbs what? The Serbs, quotes, Boskins, Turks, Bulgarians, Romanians, Albanians, and Greeks came together last Sunday to celebrate the great peace in which the Balkans Peninsula previously bathed. Ah, oh, dang. I, I was kind of hoping for, like great bloodshed and you know chance for revolution because you know if I'm invited to the revolution I'll try my best unless it's like completely hopeless but anyways oh man okay we have we have an opportunity to take over take over Korea and I'm gonna take it um it's it's yes okay so now that we have the causes belly um let me see how long it will take oh no no I don't need this mode not population density. I know it's not that big. Uh, diplomat. There's a diplomatic mode. 1879. And I'm definitely going to use it. So 1879. We'll have our troops resupplied and ready to go get the Korean invasion. In fact, I'll go pick them up right now. And oh, finally. Oh, great. And let me guess. Oh, no way. It's Austria this time. Okay. Okay, okay, so everyone, this time around, it seems like we are trying to free a little, a Poland friends, and this time, I don't care who joins, I'm joining this crisis. Because you know what, it's going to be against Austria, and you know what, I hate Austria. Okay, so let me see, what does the diplomatic reason say? Okay, so they hate me more, <laughs> um, they love Austria, shoot. Okay, um, hmm, that isn't good because I'm going to have to do some serious bribing here. Let me see, what are they going to get? France demands this, okay, yeah. So, uh, we're fighting for, uh, we're fighting for the region of, right here, for the Polish. Alright, and I'm going to have to do some cheeky deals here because I don't have enough, I, yeah, we can't lose. <laughs> We can't lose, and the only nation I really need on my side is Russia. So I'm gonna look at the Ruskins. Um, we're gonna free Poland. They will not accept. Okay, how about you acquire a state of Austrian Moldavia? Okay. Um, we lack any proper justification for this war. Dang. All right, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think of ways to like get these guys involved because if they all just join the. Uh, if they all just join, like, the two powers we don't need to join is, is Great Britain and, okay, let me see if I can, I'll bother them up a little bit. Let's see, did that help me in any of my cases to, like, help get them on my side? No, yeah, they, they won't, they won't say yes to that. So, but the two nations we can't get on there are... Great Britain and Austria. And it seems like they expanded. I kind of lost. Kind of knew it. I tried my best. Don't, don't, don't hate on me, guys. I tried my best fighting there, but it was just for nothing. I could not do anything. And actually, we're going to go to a new technology now. Uh, should we do count? No, count revolutions a little bit later. Propel states. Mm, I'll be fighting there. Increase relations. Friendly again. We're still fighting. And... Two Sicilies has completely not wanted to back me up on this. So that means, ooh, yeah, it seems like it's most likely going to be, 
Yeah, this is this is this is becoming really tense. Um, um, free country of Poland. I think if we fit, I'm wondering. Hmm. Okay, will you guys accept anything? Like seriously, will you guys do you guys like anything? Dismantle fortifications. Humiliate. No. Seriously, the UK is not even going to. Okay. Well, it seems like I'll probably lose this one. I'm just going to say that now. Or I'm going to be fighting one of the most intense wars of my life. Which, you know what? Pruitt, I will go out this way if I have to. Yep. Yep. And Russia's probably not going to join me. The Ottomans will be kind of a useless ally. Yeah. This isn't going to be good. Uh, okay, so let me see. The front I'm going to have to fight on is right here. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not backing down this time. Last time I backed down seriously and let my and let my fearfulness... Oh, dang, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I still got a causes belly against... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's gypped. That's just gypped. We'll continue. You cannot declare war if you're involved in a crisis. Oh, shoot. Okay, guys. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to reverse the clock because I did not remember that. So, be right back because I did not know about that. And I did not know you could not go to war while you're in crisis. So, be right back.